Hello everyone, welcome to Bad News 2, the sequel I really didn't want to have to make. Um, yeah, so there's been a bit more development, I know, let me just move my microphone a bit closer so I'm not, you know, too quiet. There's been a little bit of development since the last time I spoke to you guys in regards to um, my, my COVID and illness and stuff. Mainly that I don't just have COVID anymore, so that's fun. Um, I also have shingles. Now, the reason I know this is because, um, like, a couple days before I found out I had COVID and started uh, feeling the symptoms of COVID, these random red rashes, which I'm going to be showing on screen, started appearing on my body. And, um, you know, we, we all sort of went, you know, that can't be good, right? Um, and... Uh, we called the doctors um, yesterday, you know, for for an appointment stuff, and um, they've like they've analysed the pictures that we sent, and um, they they phoned us today and said, "Yep, he's got shingles um, as well." So uh, that means that you know, um, like like more headaches, um, the like the the splotches themselves are like really irritated. Um, and itchy and painful. It's kind of like the adult version of chicken pox. For those of you who don't know what shingles is, um, it like commonly like occurs in older people, but it can also obviously occur in anyone who's an adult. Um, and yeah, so basically, long story short, it appears that like every virus in the world, along with my, you know, obviously pre-existing cerebral palsy, has kind of come together in a really terrible, like, Avengers-like fashion, and just gone, <laughs> let's wreck this guy's day. Uh, let's, you know, let's see how much damage we can cause this guy um, in a short span of time. And also, um, in a COVID-related update, and my mum has also caught COVID, uh, so uh, obviously she can't go anywhere now, and um, I need someone to get my medication, so I'm going to have to get my, my brother to get the medication, but also, I was hoping, you know, maybe I was going to be able to, you know, go to the Sunday Comic Con, because I knew I was going to miss the Friday due to me having to self-isolate, uh, I think Friday is the last day where I have to do that, um, so I was thinking, okay, maybe Sunday, but apparently, shingles can last up to four weeks, and it, um, you know, it's contagious, so I don't really want to, um, you know, give anyone that, and also, like, I don't feel much better, honestly, I might sound not too bad at the moment, it kind of goes up and down, you know, because I'll take, like, regular medication, and then it'll sort of, like, the, the symptoms will sort of subside for a bit, and then, like, they'll just hit me like a ton of bricks, particularly in the evenings, I've found, um, it gets, it gets a lot worse, um, yeah, it's, it's it's not been a particularly fun time for me. And obviously, you know, I know that you guys say, oh, you know, don't make content. You know, I, I'm honestly, like, the only reason, well, not the only reason, but, like, sort of, the way I'm making content currently is basically the easiest way I can do it. You know, minimal editing, just sort of, there'll be some gameplay on in the background, and I'm just going to be talking to you guys because... Honestly, like, I'm so bored and tired that talking, you know, is one of the few things I can still do, and even that is a struggle occasionally. Um, you know, luckily you haven't hit me coughing and spluttering loads in this recording. Uh, but, yeah, I, you know, I'm only making content I feel like I am, you know, energised enough to make, because the problem is you know, with with CP as well, is that CP already sapped basically all of your energy anyway, or a good amount of it, you know, you, you get tired a lot more quickly anyway. You add, <coughs> sorry, you add COVID on top of that, and it essentially becomes like this sort of, um, it basically just becomes like you struggle to do basically anything, like talking is about the only thing I can do at this point. Like, uh, fun fact, uh, when I've been sleeping at nights, um, you know, I've, I've been struggling to actually turn over. Uh, it's been it's been that bad, um, and obviously now I've got this big rash that's also irritating. So sleeping is just going to be a whale of a time. 
apparently as well i also have um apparently the 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 rashes for shingles will begin to ooze like stuff i'm not, sorry if this is too graphic but you know i gotta get you know so i might as well give you the whole picture like it'll begin to ooze stuff and then um apparently, oh, apparently my audio peaked sorry if the audio is a bit weird um like apparently it'll start to ooze stuff and then uh scab so i've got that to look forward to so that's fun um yeah so that's the update uh again long story short the avengers of viruses came together and were like let's let's wreck this guy's day um I'm going to try and see, you know, if I can get the tickets, like, because the, the biggest thing that I'm losing out, like, financially on is the train tickets. Train tickets are a bomb, you know, going from Cardiff to London, which is what I would be doing. So I'm going to see if I can get those refunded. Um, keep an eye out on my Twitter as well, because I'm probably going to be selling, you know, as much of the, the con tickets as I can, because the LFCC seems to be really funny about refunds. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Um hope you all are having uh, good days uh, and I will see you again at some point soon uh, okay goodbye everyone